Kia ora, year 11, 12 and 13. This is question 2B from last year's scholarship count paper and it's another question about tangents if you've just been watching 4B. So this one is, I think, quite straightforward. Um, we can use some skills from level 3 calculus and it's pretty obvious where to start. We have to show that the graphs of xy equals root 2 and x squared minus y squared equals 1 have perpendicular tangents at their points of intersections. So you might be wondering, hopefully you are wondering, what those graphs look like. Well, we can rewrite the first one as y equals root 2 over x. And the second one we can't rewrite very easily, but hopefully we recognize it as some kind of hyperbola thing. And I've chucked them into GeoGebra to show you what they do look like. And we need to show that where they intersect, they, that they have perpendicular tangents. So these are the two graphs, right? So this one is um, x, y equals root 2. And this one is, the blue one is x squared minus y squared equals 1. And you can see where they intersect uh, are these two points here. And if we look at the tangents, we can see that they're perpendicular. So that all looks good. Now, going back to the question, what do I need to do? Well, I need to find the derivative of each thing. And then I need to find the points of intersection. And I know that if um, gradients or um, slopes are perpendicular, then they multiply together to equal negative 1. So we've got a roadmap. We can just get on with it now. Um, the x, y equals root 2 um, is not going to be good to work with. We could do implicit on it, but it's far easier just to write y equals root 2 on x, which I can then write as root 2 x to the negative 1. So dy by dx is equal to negative root 2 times x to the negative 2, or negative root 2 over x squared. Right, and so we're going to call that curve 1. Now for the next one, x squared minus y squared equals 1. I'm sure some of you are going to try and rewrite it as y squared equals blah blah blah, and then y is equal to plus or minus. And yes, you can do that, but the chances that you muck up the differentiation are pretty high. If you're sitting scholarship calc, you really should be very confident with implicit differentiation. So that's how I'm going to do this one. Um, if you're not confident with implicit, um, you've got heaps of time. Um, so go and work through the chapter in Old Delta or Khan Academy or, or ask your teacher for some extra work on it. So differentiating this, I get 2x minus 2y dy by dx is equal to 0. And that gives me dy by dx is equal to negative 2x over negative 2y, which is x over y. So we're going to call this curve 2, and that's the gradient for curve 2. So the next thing to do is the intersection points. Well, we've got y equals root 2 over x, and we've got x squared minus y squared equals 1. So we can substitute in, and we get x squared minus root 2 on x squared is equal to 1, x squared minus 2 on x squared equals 1. So I'm going to get a quartic, x to the power of 4 minus 2 over x squared is equal to 1. And that turns into a disguised quadratic. And you can either write u equals x squared, or you can go straight to solving. So this one's a pretty easy disguised quadratic. So I've gone straight to that. Now I want to have a minus x squared, so it's going to be minus 2 plus 1. That gives me the following four solutions. x squared equals negative 1, or x squared equals 2. Um, and you need to make sure that you've done this pretty thoroughly, right? So you want a little bit of rigor. Don't just ignore this one. So this one has got no real solutions. And this one has got x equals root 2, or negative root 2. And the corresponding y value will be root 2 on root 2. So y is equal to 1. Uh, y is equal to root 2 on negative root 2, which is negative 1. So that gives me two intersection points, root 2 and 1, and negative root 2 and negative 1. Um, so gradient of curve 1 is what? What did we have? Well, we had dy by dx is equal to negative root 2 on x squared which is equal to, what have I got? 
Um, so let's do it for this point first. Uh, negative root 2 over 2, which is negative 1 on root 2. Just checking I haven't marked that up. Now don't bother rationalising the surge, just leave it like that. And now we'll do the gradient of curve 2. dy by dx is equal to x over y. It's another reason to like implicit is that it's very, very straightforward to now substitute in, right? So we've got root 2 over 1. Um, so we've got um, m1 times m2 is equal to negative 1 on root 2 times root 2, which is negative 1. Therefore, um, gradients are perpendicular. And we can go through and do the same thing for this point here. So I'm going to do that now. Most of you are probably going to stop watching. Um, again, notice there are a few things coming up over and over again. Implicit differentiation is one. Disguised quadratics are another. Um, so this last point, if we sub in negative root 2, negative 1, we get curve 1. dy by dx is equal to negative root 2 over negative root 2 squared which again gives me negative 1 on root 2. And for curve 2, dy by dx is x over y, which is negative root 2 over negative 1, which gives me root 2. Negative 1 on root 2 times root 2 is equal to negative 1. So we've got perpendicular gradients again. So there you go. Now, I don't know how many marks that was worth, but um, that's an example of a question that most people sitting this, I think, could go all the way through with that question. There's nothing tricky really about it. Um, it's really clear about where to start, okay, because you should be really confident with knowing that perpendicular gradients multiply to negative 1. Um, the only thing I guess that you've got to watch out for is not to freak out when you see x, y equals root 2. Okay, so just remember that we can very easily change that to y equals. So there you go. Thanks for watching. I'll do some more videos later on today.